This week's episode uses the annotations function on YouTube. To turn these on, look for the speech bubble right about here. If that is red, then you are set. If it's not red, click it until it turns red, and then you're ready to go. If you're watching this video on Facebook, go to YouTube. If you're watching it on the TVs at the library, wait for Kayla. She'll tell you what to do. This week's video is about the secrets of cake. Pay attention. At the end of this video, there will be a question. Click on what you think is the correct answer. It will take you to another video with a number. Write that number down and answer the next question. Once you have all three numbers, bring them to a librarian for verification. If you write down the right three numbers, we will give you four free tickets. If you have not, we will tell you to try again. If you are not watching this video on YouTube, ask a librarian for a paper quiz. Good luck! And welcome to the Cake Show! My name is Kirk Premantos. This week I'm doing some hard-hitting, investigating reports on the cake summer program. I'm asking the hard questions and I am finding the secrets of cake. Alright, I'm here with Dr. Armand Artel, the preeminent cake scholar, and I'm asking him the hard questions. Dr. Artel, what is your favorite color? Blue. How's your day? Fine. Where are you hiding secrets of cake? Actually, there are no secrets to cake, just paths to enlightenment. Like, for instance, do I have to read a library book for it to count for cake points? No, you may read any books to receive cake points. It could be from the Hayes Public Library, your personal library, or something you bar borrowed from a friend or a family member. Okay, so say I read the book on the recommended reading list, and it is part of a series. May I read the other books in the series for points? Of course, but did you know if a series book is on the recommended reading list, all the books in the series are also worth 100 points. See, these are the secrets I'm trying to suss out. What if I wanted to read the 39 Clues books, which are located conveniently in the children's department? Can I read those for points? Absolutely. As long as the book is 82 pages or more, it counts as points. It comes from children's, YA, or even the adult department. Awesome. I've also heard that if you're busy, cake is the perfect reading program for you. That is true. Most people think that when they have a job or on a sports team, they don't have enough time for cake. Not true. We give you points for being active during the summer. You don't have to come to the library at all. Whoa. Yeah, you can do everything online and still win the major prizes. This is Kirk Prevantis, and I'm signing off. I thought that way. Hi, I'm Marleya, and even though I work in the adult department, I like reading YA books sometimes. I read Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. Do you have a special talent or ability? The four kids in this book do, and they use those to work together to help Mr. Benedict save the world. They infiltrate a secret learning institute where a strange man is actually trying to control people's minds. And they use all of their talents together to help each other out and help save the day. Here are this week's activities. Monday, drama club at 2, board games and snack at 3. Tuesday, video games at 2, official beatbox clinic at 3.30. Wednesday, cake ball at Massey Park at 10 a.m., how to henna art at 2. Thursday, make and take recycled robots at 2. Friday, reading lounge with chips and sauce at 2. Now on to the quiz. Click on what you think is the correct answer. Be careful, we are trying to trick you. True or false, you may read any book for cake points that is 82 pages. 